Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast brought to you by the last man standing with Loserport.com. As ever, I'm your host, Harry Simu. And on today's edition, we're going to be talking about former Arsenal manager, Arsene Wenger. Now, I know that Arsene Wenger rubs some people up the wrong way. There are those of us who believe that Arsene Wenger is a legend, but do, of course, acknowledge the fact that things went south towards the end of his Arsenal career and that it was the right time for him to move on. And then there are those who absolutely despise him. And that I can't get my head around. And I'm going to go into a little bit more detail um, as to why I find that so hard to, to you know, comprehend. And we're going to be talking about the fact that Arsene Wenger has announced he is working on a book. Now, an Arsene Wenger book would be incredible, in my opinion. It's one of the one things as a reader that I've always wanted to read. My only sort of concern about it is that I don't believe Arsene is the type of character that will probably out people that maybe need to be outed and that will tell the truth about certain situations from fear of the backlash. And I think Arsene Wenger was at times probably too loyal to those around him and to his players and to the hierarchy at Arsenal Football Club. And I think for that reason, you may see quite a tame uh, book, which would be a shame because it would be nice to know uh, the truth and the inside out uh, of, of these things. But, you know, that's Arsene Wenger's character and I don't expect that to change just because he's writing a book. Now, in regards to that book, Arsene Wenger has been quite clear in the fact that it's going to be written in French. Now, he feels that he could best convey uh, his views, feelings, emotions, etc. and his ideas in the language of French. And that is his first language. It's totally understandable. And, you know, when I put a tweet out earlier on saying that I was really looking forward to it, a lot of people came back with that comment. It is going to be released in French. Totally understand that. But if you think that a publisher would miss out on the opportunity to translate that into English and publish it to such a huge market, such a huge audience, then I think you're wrong. I think that we will see an English version of the book. I think that the story of Arsene Wenger and the career of Arsene Wenger appeals not only to Arsenal fans, but to Premier League fans and football lovers in general. So I think you'll see that book released in multiple languages and rightly so. Uh, looking forward to it. it. should be a great read. No indication as to when it will be available, etc. Uh, but we know that work is in progress and, and that's pleasing to hear, uh, I'd say anyway. Now, when I did put the tweet out uh, saying that I was really looking forward to it, I got a number of comments back from people talking about, you know, ultimately taking the piss out of Arsene Wenger, saying things like the man who systematically destroyed our club, uh, a guide on how to get sacked over a long period, etc., etc. And that kind of talk pisses me off, if I'm being completely honest. And you're probably sitting there thinking, you know, why do I let it bother me? Why does it get to me? It gets to me because it's as if, People have just forgotten all the great things that Arsene Wenger done for this football club. Do I acknowledge that it was the right time for him to move on? Absolutely. Was I one of the people calling for him to move on? Absolutely. But was I abusing him? No. Was I disrespectful in my calls for Arsene Wenger uh, to step down from the job? Absolutely not. And I think it's very possible to acknowledge all the great things he'd done, to reflect on his career and, and look back on it with fond memories and smile about it but also, you know, accept that it was the right time for him to move on. That's fine. Why people have to cross that line into abusing the club's greatest ever manager, the man responsible for the progression of this football club, the man responsible for the greatest years in Arsenal's entire history. I don't know. That drives me absolutely crazy. I can't understand uh, the need to talk about him in that way. Um, and, you know, it sounds like I'm really defensive over Arsene Wenger and, you know, it's not that. It's just that for me, it's totally uncalled for. It's totally unnecessary. We're talking about a man who revolutionised uh, football, the Premier League, um, whose methods were taken on uh, by lots and lots of other people, who's spoken of in such high regard by lots of his uh, counterparts, etc., etc. So for me, to hear fans hiding behind their Twitter accounts and hurling abuse at the man just drives me absolutely mad. And it's something I don't think I'll ever understand. Um, but let me know your thoughts on it. You know, Arsene Wenger doesn't deserve the abuse, does he? It's fine to have wanted him to go. But I think after, you know, you've made that point, anything more, anything abusive, anything that's overstepping the mark is, in my opinion, completely unnecessary. And it winds me up when I see it. I can't help it. Uh, I am an Arsenal fan. 
And because I'm an Arsenal fan, I completely acknowledge all the great things that Arsenal done for us. You know, I grew up uh, watching Arsenal. I started watching Arsenal around about 1996, just as Arsene Wenger came onto the scene. So for me, Arsene Wenger's Arsenal was the Arsenal that I fell in love with, that I grew up watching, that I, you know, got hooked on. And even though things went bad towards the end of his Arsenal career and, and, you know, we were playing poor football and the fans had run out of patience and there were lots and lots of issues and lots of things I couldn't get my head around. Arsene Wenger is responsible for me personally falling in love with Arsenal Football Club. So um, I, I can't take that stance. I think it's completely unfair. He's not only responsible, well, he is responsible for making me fall in love with the club Partly, you know, partly my dad was a ma it well is still a huge Arsenal fan, and so you know he got me into it initially. But I think the style of Arsenal's football, the quality, the class, the the you know the whole philosophy is what made me go that next step from being someone who was interested in football and interested in Arsenal to absolutely adoring the club and putting the club at the center of my universe. So I think. You know, Arsene Wenger is responsible for that. And for that reason, no matter what happened in the last six or seven seasons, I cannot abuse the man. And I don't think people should be abusing him if they really are Arsenal fans. Because if you cannot acknowledge what Arsene done for this club, then for me, you know, I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't think you're an Arsenal fan. I'm going to say that. You know, if you... Wanted him to go, I get that, I understand that. If you thought it was time for him to go, you're absolutely right, I agree with you. But to sit there and say, I hate the man, he ruined our club. I don't know what to say to those people, I really don't. I think they're disrespectful, I think they're bitter, they're sad. And to be honest, they don't understand the game of football. And I'm going to go out and say that, you know, I've got no uh, shame in saying that. That's, that's what I believe. And if you disagree with me, challenge it in the comments. No problem whatsoever, that's what the channel's for. It's to debate, it's to discuss, it's to share opinion. And my opinion is that if you abuse Arsenal's greatest ever manager uh, just for the sake of it, then you're not an Arsenal fan. There you go. Had my rant on that. Uh, so I'm not going to continue on that too much. Uh, I've had my say. Uh, but Arsene Wenger, you know, has given a recent interview with B in Sports. And that's where all this talk has come from. I watched it. There was a lot of fan questions. He spoke about um, the the links in the past with Messi, Ronaldo, um, and, and he shared his opinions on some of the big issues in the game at the moment. It's a really interesting interview. You can find it on YouTube. Um, I'll, If I remember, I'll uh, add the link into the uh, bio of this video and you can have a quick look. Um, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I'm sure you'll find it very, very interesting. Now, Arsene also spoke about the fact that he was in contact with Arsenal Football Club about returning in some capacity, but he felt that it was too soon. He felt that it was best he kept his distance um, and allowed the likes of Unai Emery and his team to work. Now, that is a classy move, in my opinion, on the one hand, but it's also the right move for Arsene because I think with Arsene, you could see he was visibly stressed and visibly, you know, at the end of his tether and, and for the sake of his health, you know, let's be realistic, he's not getting any younger. I think it was the right thing to do to take a distance from the football club. And I think, you know, he's a lot better for that. And as I've mentioned on previous podcasts, I had the pleasure of meeting him and having a little chat with Arsene recently. And he visibly looked relaxed and calm and better and, you know, not that stressed figure that we kept seeing on the television. And he spoke about the fact that being a football manager for all those years was like being someone in a coma because he was so focused on his work. And now having taken a step away from that, he's seen kind of all the things that he's been missing in life. And I think that's why Arsene has chosen not to go back into football. And make no mistake about it, there'll be lots of Arsenal fans taking the piss who will say, oh, Arsene said he'd be back in a job. And he wasn't back in a job. Look, he's been doing nothing for a, for a year or so. Make no mistake about it, that would have been Arsene Wenger's choice. He said as much, and I believe him. Because there will have been a whole long line of clubs uh, on the continent, international sides, that would have been interested in signing up Arsene Wenger. And, uh, I, you know, I don't doubt that for a second. Maybe, you know, his time at Arsenal went bad in the end. Maybe it wasn't right that he continued and, and ultimately he made the right decision to walk away. But 
Arsene Wenger is a very good football manager. He's a very intelligent man. And there will be lots of clubs, lots of countries that will have been interested. He mentioned that there were offers. He didn't want to speak uh, about those offers in too much detail. And that's understandable. Again, showing his class. Um, I wish some of you guys would show your class when talking about him. Um, and that's not aimed at all of you, just those uh, online trolls and choose to abuse him for no apparent reason. That brings me to the end of this short uh, edition of the podcast. Just a little uh, roundup on the latest uh, from Camp Wenger. Um, so reflecting on his interview, of course, and talking about the book, which I'm very, very much looking forward to as soon as there's details of when that will be released or if indeed there will be an English version, we'll be sure to keep you posted. Also want to turn your attention to these T-shirts. Uh, I've got one here that I can show you uh, on the camera. Here we go. So we've got a few of these available. Um, we've made another order, so we'll have some more coming in very soon. But you can purchase these. All you need to do is DM us on Twitter at Chronicles underscore AFC uh, to support.